Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. So we are going to look at the uh, Heiji Monogatari Eimaki. This is a picture scroll of the Heiji Rebellion. This is one of those early samurai wars uh, that set up the Genpei War, which led to the domination of the Taira clan over Japanese politics, as we've learned. And uh, this scroll is um, very, uh, it's almost unique, actually, uh, the kind of um, uh, state it's in, uh, how well it has been preserved, and uh, as such, it tells us a lot about early samurai culture. In fact, it's one of our primary sources. Uh, usually, scrolls survive in uh, fragmentary form, or usually, um, well, I don't know about usually, but often what happens is uh, people uh, paint over parts of the scroll, uh, add them later on, uh, and you shall see this when you look at the other scroll that you're going to look at in this um, um, in this part of the course, the um, scroll of the Mongol invasion. But uh, this scroll is absolutely unique, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce the events that are taking place here, kind of guide you through it, a uh, very basic manner, and then uh, you're going to complete uh, you know, well, you're going to uh, basically view this digital exhibit that uh, Bowdoin College uh, has set up about this picture scroll. It's very, very interesting, goes into a great um, amount of detail. But uh, just to catch us up on the events, um, what's going on here is uh, this is an episode, uh, this is really the starting episode of what is called uh, the Heiji Rebellion, which is just a period of, I believe, about two weeks, rather brief period, in uh, 1860. I'm sorry, not 1860, uh, 1160, uh, <laughs> very off there, uh, in 1160, where um, you have two Fujiwara uh, bigwigs, uh, basically, trying to control the, uh, the court uh, by controlling the uh, retired emperor and the ruling emperor, uh, and uh, these two uh, Fujiwara people, they call in the Taira and the Minamoto clan. Um, and kind of set these two samurai clans fighting against each other uh, to accomplish the, um, the, the aim of the, uh, this, uh, fu these Fujiwara claimants. Um, not claimants to the throne, claimants to power. Uh, so uh, this is in turn set up by an earlier conflict, the Hogan Rebellion. Um, very briefly, just four years earlier, what happened is once again uh, you had a reigning emperor and a retired emperor uh, vying for power, uh, and there what happened was that the Taira and the Minamoto clan, these two uh, really outstanding uh, samurai clans which were descended from uh, emperors way back when, uh, these clans had split um, within themselves, and you had elements of the Taira allying with elements of the Minamoto against other elements of the Taira allied with other elements of the Minamoto. Um, and one of those factions won. Uh, Taira no Kiyomori was the big winner there. Um, he uh, and the uh, head of the, well, um, the son of the head of the Minamoto clan, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, uh, reached an understanding and uh, Minamoto's father backed the losing party, so, you know, off with his head. Uh, but uh, Taira influence was seen as growing, and so um, this one Fujiwara uh, noble, Fujiwara Nobuyori, um, kind of uh, started making contacts with the Minamoto, and he said, well, aren't you jealous? Uh, in a very nice way, said that. Uh, and the Minamoto said, yes, we are very jealous of Taira influence. Um, and what happened was the following. This is where the picture scroll comes in. Uh, by the way, this thing is really impressive. Uh, it is you know, 16 inches uh, uh, vertically and uh, 275 inches long, I believe. Let's see what it says here, actually. Yeah, that's right, exactly. It's a very big picture scroll, and it's meant to be viewed right to left. Uh, it is bracketed by explanations uh, of what the events are uh, that are being depicted and uh, overall it is meant to be uh, viewed by kind of unrolling gradually 
from right to left. So you kind of get almost the illusion of uh, there being something uh, almost like a movie or probably much more accurately as a comic strip. So what's going on? Fujiwara, okay. how do I do? Yes. So Fujiwara Nobuyori, this uh, person who wants to uh, use the Minamoto to establish power, acts when Taira no Kiyomori, the leader of the Taira clan, is out of the city. He's on a pilgrimage. Uh, many of Taira warriors are with their lord on the pilgrimage. So what Nobuyori, Fujiwara Nobuyori, decides to do is to kidnap both the retired emperor, Go Shirakawa, and the ruling emperor, uh, and uh, kind of uh, just to have them in his, uh, in his pocket, uh, so to speak, so that he can really uh, control uh, politics by having these rubber stamps, these two, this emperor and retired emperor. The reigning emperor was named Rokujo, by the way. Uh, so what they do is they get a carriage, and they, will int uh, they intend to use this carriage to uh, kidnap the retired emperor. That's what's being depicted in the scroll, is a night attack on the emperor's palace, on uh, Sanjo Avenue, it's the third avenue down from the Imperial Palace in Japanese, Ichini San, Sanjo, Third Avenue, uh, and that's where uh, this retired emperor had his power base. So yeah, okay, we're gonna get him, tie him up, put him in that ox cart, and uh, then uh, Nobuyori and uh, his Minamoto ally, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, uh, mobilize everyone they can. And this seems to have been a rather improvised affair. You see some uh, samurai running off uh, you know, without their swords, for example. Or uh, this guy is carrying a sword for his master who was just in such a hurry to get to the battle that they didn't even bother. Uh, so everybody is in various states of um, readiness or unreadiness, but, you know, the party's on. Uh, we're going to go. So what happens is they approach the palace, there's confusion, uh, people start bumping into each other, uh, these uh, ox carts are um, kind of uh, tangled up because, well, this is a palace, there usually are ox carts in front. Uh, when these nobles who live there travel, they don't rough it. Uh, but anyway, this press of people comes up to the palace gates, and here is that same ox cart. Um, I'm not exactly sure who's going to be ri who's riding it at this point, uh, but this is meant for the uh, the retired emperor to carry him away. So they reach the castle, and there's this gate which is just off of uh, where we uh, just off the edge of the scroll. Can't really see it, but we can assume that everybody rushes through that gate and starts milling about this courtyard, um, waiting to get in the palace. Here's that ox cart going through the door once again. Uh, and this, by the way, is uh, Fujimoto uh, Nobuyori, the guy who launched this whole expedition. Here is Minamoto Yoshitomo, the head of the Minamoto clan. Um, they're gonna break in and steal the retired emperor. And look at the bottom. This is one of my favorite parts of this scroll. Um, what happens in battle? Well, a lot of random violence happens in battle. Here's just a random uh, warrior. He's, he's really low ranking, you can see, because he has uh, very little armor. He doesn't even really have full robes under his armor. Uh, what he does have, he has his cheap um, helmet substitute. Uh, and uh, he has also a nasty weapon, the Naginata, which is this glaive, this pole arm, uh, sword stuck on a, uh, a long pole, and he's going to kill somebody. And then he's going to go after the women. They are right here, they're terrified, they have nowhere to go. So the, um, um, oh, I'm sorry, what happened here apparently is um, they already, uh, the Minamoto forces, have already captured the emperor. So he's in there. So this is actually them getting out of the palace, leaving. And in the process, a lot of people get killed. Uh, and they also set the palace on fire after them to cover their tracks. And uh, here, when you go through this picture scroll on your own, 
uh, and complete this exhibit, you're going to see a bunch of these options here. You will uh, click these buttons and follow them. Uh, you'll be able to explore a lot of these images in detail and you can, and I really encourage you to zoom in and just take some time um, drinking in the, the visual language of all of this. Uh, this is uh, victory. This is what Samurai Victory looked like. Uh, this is once, uh, also, uh, the scroll was painted during the Kamakura period. It depicts events during the Heian period, uh, but basically that's not that far apart. These samurai are still very, very similar to uh, what they were uh, at the uh, time this uh, scroll was painted. And here they are decapitating some Taira supporters, some nobles, uh, stealing things, burning the palace, uh, running amok. Here are uh, women. Um, possibly being raped, uh, certainly being uh, expropriated. Um, kimonos are very expensive. And, uh, <laughs> well, not to mention everything in the palace that Victoria's army is just taking. Um, oh, they can't take, they burn down, and then they leave. And then here is the sad aftermath of the battle. Um, possibly, yes, uh, order may be restored a little bit, uh, that's what the intro to, uh, or that's what uh, this um, uh, this online exhibit claims, they leave the palace, they're more orderly, maybe, but basically they've just had their way with the entire palace. And uh, here is uh, Minamoto no Yoshitomo, again, there's women running away, um, here are samurai marching with the heads of their enemies. The samurai were headhunters. The more uh, heads you collected, the greater your reward. You would present these to the Lord, uh, to your Lord, and you say, this is so-and-so, uh, and your Lord would say, great, um, I will reward you. You have a nice horse now. Or you have uh, my favor. You can have the right of audience with me. And these heads were very, very important to the samurai. And here, you see, they have the retired emperor. They're marching him out. Um, here, I um, believe this is a warrior just kind of lounging on the top of this carriage. This is a great insult, um, kind of showing disrespect to the emperor. And here is Nobuyori, Fujiwara Nobuyori, in um, court clothes now. He has uh, I, I'm not sure if he really ha had time to change during the event, but the scroll portrays him as having changed, as kind of being in control and courtly and political now. And here, once again, is the, uh, uh, well, not once again, here's the head of this procession, and here, once again, is the text that brackets this scroll, saying what a terrible event this was. So, uh, please take the time and go through the digital exhibit, explore these options, and uh, I hope you find it interesting.